Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state and get hyped for lovely Connecticut because the most expensive house here is literally a castle, a $60 million nine-bedroom, 10-bath, 18,777 square foot castle. That's right, we are no longer even pretending that we don't live in a feudal society. So uh, let's let's take a look at this thing because I'm, you know, it's it's like a little bit Magic Kingdom and a little bit when normal, you know, economically normal people become mentally unwell, you know, usually someone sends them somewhere or tries to get them some help. I feel like a lot of wealthy people, when they become like severely unwell, they're just allowed to do whatever the fuck they want because they're super rich. Um, I, you know, that's how we get certain presidents, I would say. Anyway, uh, we've got a, a literal drawbridge, which, you know, we saw this last time in the Colorado house. Uh, oh, we've got two drawbridges. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I get an even stronger vibe that there are explosive charges planted below these walkways to keep the riffraff out if, if the peasants start revolting. That, uh, we've got servants' quarters over here. Uh, that's, that's a nice, that's a nice touch. Uh, this is on an island. This is on an island, so you can really keep the peasants at bay as long as they can't swim. Um, that's, you know, incredible that they have not figured those things out. Maybe maybe they put, like, sharks or crocodiles or something in here. I wouldn't put it past them. We've got uh, little turrety things. Oh, one of, the, one of the turrets fell over. That's sad. They should fix that up. Uh, we got a lot of, a lot of turrets and round things and octagonal towers. A lot of stuff going on here. Just very, very busy. I have a feeling that I'm not even going to be able to, like, you know, sarcastically make fun of this because I have a feeling it's just going to be so out there that it, you know, it writes itself. All right, here's more outdoor shots. We've got some, I assume you get some guard staff, private security in there, some black water washouts, garden the, garden the front door. Um, this, this, I'm getting like New Orleans boathouse, you know, out here on this big round structure. I don't know. I don't know anything about architecture. Um, let's go. All right. I don't know what that is. Is that a swimming pool or a pit to hell or who knows what? I'm, I'm concerned by it. But I don't have any guesses. Alright, and that's, I swear we saw that already. We got more shots from above. Let's get inside, how about? Oh, here's, here's the whole lake. There's definitely, there's definitely genetically modified sharks in that lake. Alright, uh, here's the walkway. This is, this is the last thing you see before they blow the drawbridge to keep you out. You're rolling the guillotine up this plankway and poof, there you go. And here's the grand entrance. We've got, are these both clocks? Yeah, I think these are both clocks. So you're doubly sure of the time. You, I've mentioned in the past that rich people don't know how to buy just one piece of, one of a piece of furniture. They couldn't find exact duplicates, but they knew they needed to have two grandfather clocks for symmetry. As they, you know, gotta have, gotta have symmetry. A little... Look, they filled literally every gap on the wall with a picture. They were, oh, this, <laughs> got one over here. Every little corner where something might be exposed. Uh, that looks, is that a Queen Nefertiti head that they've just got on the floor there? Okay. Okay. Um, China cabinet here. This is going to be, it's going to be weird, dudes. It's going to be real weird. Um, got some... Really beautiful, interesting woodwork on the floor, and then covered with just the most god-awful, ugly carpet, or rugs. Um, 
All right, we've got, oh, is this a mini version? Is this a mini version of the house or just a different castle? I can't tell. Oh, this is also, oh, oh, this is weird. So the front door opens directly up into the dining room, I believe, unless this is not, the, I, I think that is the, let me, all right, we must go back. We got to know, we got to know, because that's a weird, yeah, that's, that's the front door. That's the front door, and we're going directly into a dining room, as if this isn't a gigantic castle that can host its own, you know, foyer area. The ceiling does not match the rest of the decor. This bleak white with can lights, and then the fake sky, and this weird chandelier hanging down not quite far enough, you know... When you've got like a grand dining room in one of these houses, the chandelier needs to come down to at least like here. It's, uh, all right, we're, we're making some choices already. Uh, this, we've got, <laughs> this is the pre, I feel like we're in Alice in Wonderland. Like, like this is the, the tea time, this, the tea time scene where you all have to run around and, and switch chairs because we got the pre-dining table in the walkway, in the front entryway, and then we've got the big, long, grand dining table with the throne. There's a throne there. That's all right. Let's let's just pretend that. Uh... Oh boy! All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bite back a lot of political rants here because otherwise we'll never get through this. This, I. I... I'm getting the sense that they just went to a lot of antique shops or like auctions and shit and anything that said medieval to them, they were like, get it. We're continuing the trend of putting pictures on every little scrap of bare wall. Uh, we've got, oh, we've got a, a suit of armor. All right, we've got three, three chandeliers over just this one table, none of them match. Like, that one especially, that's a completely different style of chandelier. Like, these two together, I could kind of see. That's that's a completely different thing. This is so chaotic. Does this chair not match the rest of the chairs? Do any of the chairs match? Do they just have random historical-looking chairs that they just cobbled together? Oh, this is... This is quite a lot. All right, well, we've got little carvings around the fireplace. Points for not having a TV up here. All right, all right. So many knickknacks. So many things to dust. There's just a lot of... we got a mini suit of armor. We've got a little picture on a stand. They really... This... Okay, when, when an economically normal person becomes a hoarder, they don't have that much house to put it in, which is how you end up with the stacks of newspaper and the goat trails and, you know, the dead cats buried in there. When you're this rich, you just buy more house and you buy gigantic $60 million houses and you can buy whatever the fuck weird little knickknacks you want. And you, you never end up looking crazy, except, yeah, yeah, you do. This looks, okay. All right. We got, I think that's, oh, that's an elevator. That's an elevator there. We got elephants. Couldn't buy just one elephant. You need the two elephants to really frame the room. Got a coat of arms inset into the ground there. This is, uh, hmm, bold choices. Bold choice. And the ceilings continue to be god-awful ugly. Uh, you couldn't do anything? 65, oh, oh. They have done something with the ceiling here, and I'm I'm wishing I hadn't asked for them to do something. Let me get some stained glass here. We get this, okay, this round room. So I learned in a documentary about barns that I watched because a spirit possessed me. Um, I learned that back in, like, pro it wasn't quite Protestant times. It was like maybe the 1800s or seven, late 1700s. There was this whole theory that round rooms uh, were, were good for the mind somehow. It was more soothing or, or calming to the mind. 
uh, and it made you saner to have a round room, and that's why they had these round barns. So was the, you know, eh. so uh, this, I don't think this round room worked on this person, is what I'm gonna say. We've got a hidden. We've got a hidden refrigerator. We've got a refrigerator disguised to look like a cabinet because, remember, you can't let them know you eat. You can't let them know you eat. And round counter. Let's continue on. Is this storm clouds? Is that what they did up here? I can't tell. Got some weird little drop lighting. Well, so much can lighting. So much can lighting. It's, it's like the ghost of 2002 went back to the medieval times got another elephant oh oh so many elephants okay i'm i'm an elephant person you know people that have that like signature animal and then they get a bunch they get a thousand gifts of that animal i've got elephant pillows and and whatnot but this is that's an excessive amount of elephant i gotta say all right let's let's keep going oh all right, this, I like the concept. I like the concept of this center post, and I like the concept of having it as a spice rack. However, this whole, like, old-timey-looking your medieval house style, and then you can see the McCormick label. You can see the label on the spices that looks, it's completely out of place. Either put some doors on there, Easy, easy fix, or, or you can afford a $60 million house. You can afford some nice little containers. Just, just get some little glass containers to put your spices in. Make it look nice. Jesus Christ. All right, we got oven, we got a stove, sink. You know, as far as like the ergonomics of cooking in a space like that, I think that probably works other than having to go, how far outside the circle do you have to go? Uh, no, the, the circle is open to the refrigerator. All right. All right. I give it a pass. Um, we got a little dining area here. Um, yeah, this... I feel like these curtains with the valence on, like... In a room where you've got, like, a window here and then a bit of wall and then a window here and you've got it on each... Like, that would have worked, but this is just so so many windows in a row to have these curtains on all right we're in a bedroom we're in a bedroom we got knickknacks galore we got a fireplace there's you know what it does not look like there's a living room in this bedroom points for that points for that all you have to do is put up with <laughs> this entire place um more knickknacks in the bathroom this yeah okay um, got a nice big tub back here. This, this marble, I assume that's either marble or granite or something, but to have it on the floor and the walls is a little, that's a little maddening to me. And also the pattern of the can lights is, is atrocious. Everything about the ceilings in this house is wrong. Um, we got another fake cloud ceiling here. Just... I mean, just so everyone knows, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. We got pictures. <laughs> just a little, but a thousand teeny tiny pictures lining the ceiling that you can't actually see because it's on the fucking ceiling. Um, and we've got this table with two thrones. Two thrones, okay. And all, it's just like random chairs again they just went and they bought every piece of furniture that they thought fit the vibe of the house and they just stuck it places um the windows are cool the windows are very cool i like you know the the leaded glass details and the stained glass those that's all very cool um the floors throughout the entire house are gorgeous this is cool woodwork here um nice ornate doorknobs it, Every piece of furniture in here would be like a really nice feature piece by its like like in a room that's otherwise more understated and it's just the fact that they crammed in 
every single piece that they could find that's like this. Also, is that a horse? And those are, those are, this is also a horse. Oh boy, are we going in the horse room? We're going in the horse. Oh, no, we're not going in the horse. All right. If there's one thing that's creepy to collect, it is clocks. There's, there's like a, a morbidity to it. And having, sleeping in a room with a thousand little clocks staring you down from the ceiling, from this ugly ass ceiling. Oh, oh, we thought we could escape it. We thought we could escape it. We've got the TV over the fireplace, the number one cardinal sin of rich people houses. You can't escape it even in a castle. Ah, uh, right. That's, God bless America. Um, all right, we got this cool trunk here. That's, that's a cool piece of furniture, but again, it's, it's in combination with everything. Got the giant, you know, Louis the Fourteen servants watch you fuck bed. Um, look that up. Just go ahead and look up that history fact. There's some fun stuff for you. Oh, I got, oh, this is. Is that a sauna in there? I think that's a sauna. We got another TV over the fireplace, unless that's connected to this room. No, it's not connected. That's a separate, that is a second TV over the fireplace um, in the bathroom because God knows you need a TV in the bathroom. You know what? I'm going to say it. Maybe they just need fiber. Maybe, maybe, because I'm assuming the toilet's over here. If you are spending that much time there, that you need the TV, you need fiber. That's what you need. The haunted forest, weird, misty shower. That's, don't, don't, if you see something like this in the wild, don't go in there. Don't, don't, that's, that's a door to the fey realm. They're going to eat your eyeballs. Bad, bad shit happens in there. That's, mm, no, that doesn't make me feel safe. All right, we got, oh, this is beautiful, beautiful glasswork here. Um, I don't really have a sense of where we are. Are those trains up top? There's, oh, oh, that's, that is beautiful. That is real, that is a beautiful staircase. All right. Um, and then we're back outside, getting some views of the towering peaks. And, uh, from afar, is that all we get to see? Oh, we got a very ornate gate here. Uh, how many ways can we keep the riffraff out? We got a view of the moat. The moat to keep everyone out. I bet there's alligators in there. They wouldn't survive the winter, but, you know, you just buy a new alligator every year. It's fine. All right. And... Of course, we've got the lions out front. You need some lions. Uh, we got this weird little... Is that a sitting area? Or is uh, that looks to me like one of those little market stalls that you see in like... Like the Witcher video games or something. I don't actually play that game, but like medieval type video games. Um, a lot of stonework. Again from afar, again from afar. Wow, this was this was an experience. I'm I'm very happy with this one. I mean like I'm so dissatisfied and disturbed by many of the contents, but from a a voyeuristic masochistic standpoint, this has made me incredibly uh happy as as a subject piece to analyze. It, oh, there, there is a certain level of wealth where you can be as mentally ill as you need to be and no one will do anything about it except sell you more elephants. It's it's really an incredible country we live in here, folks. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, if you did, if you have any thoughts, if you noticed any... there There were so many things going on in here. I'm sure I missed a thousand... Uh, details. So if you noticed anything that I missed, uh, please leave a comment, let me know, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do, follow your heart, and have a good one.